Welcome back to the channel, we're Billy and Leanne. If you're new here, when we picked up Bez, she was a big rusty white van. We decided to finish her inside before we started on the bodywork. After driving big rusty Bez for around 9 months, we decided it was time to give her a makeover. Join us this week as we attempt to prep and roller paint big Bez ourselves. Morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week's video, we're going to be doing something we've been wanting to do for ages now. Um, we're going to start prepping the van ready to get it painted. So we wanted to do this for a while now. We was originally going to get it spray painted, but the price of spray painting and the state of this van and the amount of prep that it needs to have done would be a fortune. So we're going to try and roller paint the van now, which is a lot cheaper option. So we're going to attempt to do all the prep work ourselves. We thought, you know what, we've, dropped, we've built the whole van ourselves, we might as well paint it ourselves, don't we? <laughs> we did start a bit of the prep yesterday. We didn't film that much because we just wanted to crack on because it looked like it was going to rain all day. Currently parked up on my mum and dad's drive. Kindly lent us their drive to work on, to prep. I've got no experience in this whatsoever. <laughs> So I'm just taking people's tips and giving it a go. I don't know what colour we're going to go for yet. We've got a couple of ideas in mind. Uh, we're thinking of going for like a, a really sandy, beigey colour. Like a, a desert like sand. Donny, yeah, a bit like Little Donny. We're talking between a sand or like a rusty, like, orange colour, but an orange. But cool. Last week was literally 20 degrees, I think it was. 19 degrees it reached in the middle of March. And next week it's raining pouring down the, the, the week we want to do the van. It's so annoying because all week we were saying oh this is the perfect weather to paint the van. We should have done it this week. <laughs> yeah. Still raining outside. The weather's still shit and I need to get this body work done. The filler from yesterday um, I need to finish off so let me show you what I've done. So this is a bit that we were starting on yesterday. So as you can see, there is a lot of rust and a lot of surface rust that needs to be sorted on the van. The side that we started on yesterday is the worst side. If you can see on the video that I posted, um, that back quarter was where I drove into a bollard at a petrol station and it kind of like caved in on the side a little bit. So I've just filled that and smooth that over. I've still got to finish it. Um, and there's just loads of little bits of surface rust along the side of the van that I've got to get sorted. Yeah, so I reckon it's gonna take a good seven days to get the prep work done. So this is what I'm using to do the body filler on the bodywork. Was recommended to me by the shop. <laughs> done body filler or any bodywork or anything. So what I'm doing might be completely wrong, but hopefully it works. So this was a really big dent that was caved in on the wing was sort of going in like that. Put uh, another few coats of the filler on there once it's dried, and then the final coat will also be smooth, and then we'll go down with the sandpaper to make it smoother, to blend in with the other bodywork, and then we'll prime it, and then we'll sand it back a little bit, and then we'll paint over it again with the final coat. So it rained last night, so there's loads of streaks all over the van, but this is where I've just gone over with the rust cure and painted over the little surface rust patches. I grinded them back first, I sanded them back to the metal, and then I've treated them with the rust protect and then I'm going to prime them to protect them even more and then go over the top coat of paint and hopefully that should be enough. That fill is drying, I'm going to sand the rest of the van or the rest of this side and then when that's all done, we're going to prime all the little bits that need priming then we are going to scotch pad it all, the final coat will go on. But we've still got a lot of work to do, we've only done one side so... starting on the uh, passenger door and there was a little bit of rust there and I've just put the grinder on it and it's probably a bit worse than we thought. Show you. <laughs> so that is it from the inside. All the other metal is pretty solid. Um, so I think what we're going to do is just fiberglass that hole for now and then come into problems in the future then we'll deal with it then but we are on a bit of a budget for this right this job so so I've grinded back the rust on the door as far back as I can get it near is uh it's like it's close to the <laughs> so it's close to the bare metal what I'm gonna do is clean the area off 
all brush and I'm gonna put some cure up on that. So what I've done is I've got a, uh, a wire wall attachment for the grinder and I'm just trying to get it back as much as possible and then I'm gonna rush treat it, rush cure it and then hopefully the hole's not too big so we can fiberglass that for now. It's day three. Two. 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 Three. Three. Your birthday today. Twenty-fourth. Just gonna get the prep done, then we'll show you how we paint it. Yes. The prep works pretty boring. It's pretty much just sanding, sanding, and that's it really, and filling. So hopefully in a few days we'll be able to paint her. Hopefully. Okay, so the weather has cleared a little. It's not raining anymore, so we're gonna try and brave getting the last few bits of the prep done before we can paint so fingers crossed it doesn't rain and stop us in the middle of it good morning so it's day four of doing the van bodywork prep and it's chucking it down all day so yeah we can't really get much done today which is really annoying but we still need to order the paint so we'll do that at some point today today is paint day we are finally at the stage where we can paint so we've been prepping the van for about the last week, it took about seven days. Haven't really filmed that much because it's not that exciting. All we've done is pretty much sand it down with a um, scotch bright pad, filled all the holes and rust that need doing, covered them with primer, filled a few spots. I had to do a little bit of filler on this back quarter. I also had to do another bit down there. But yeah, the van is ready to paint. Luckily the weather is nice today it's been a bit shit for the last week but the sun's come out i think it's meant to be here for two days so gonna be a good day to paint so we're gonna start off with the roof i'm gonna try and get the roof painted first then work my way down we'll see how it goes with it because we've never done this before so it could come out really good or it could come out really bad i think we'll be all right we've done everything we can it's not going to be perfect but it'll be better than it was so what we're using we are using we've got some foam brushes for the little little bits that we can't get to some foam rollers, little ones, some paint trays, got some panel wipe to clean it down. Obviously the paint, we've gone for military paint. We're gonna do it, mix it with a bit of fitters, three to one ratio apparently is the best to use. So we're gonna go with that. So just about to mix up the paint, ready to put the spinners in. And this is the color that we've gone for. Oh God. <laughs> So Bill has just done the first coat on the roof and now it's starting on the back door. But I don't think we're gonna have enough paint blah, 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 blah. don't think we're gonna have enough paint to do the whole lot today. We will see. We've got three litres of paint, so that's what the man at the paint shop said, but everything we've watched online says like anywhere between like 10 and 20 litres, didn't it? But yeah, a bit, but it should. I don't know, we'll see how we get on. We've already had one spillage. Mirrored, not so supposed clumsy. to be. It's because I'm trying to concentrate and I'm trying to hold this and it's like tipping. Look at that though, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Really nice. I'm quite impressed with you. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get cracking now. It does dry quick though.
So the first coat is almost done. It's going on all right, isn't it, Leanne? Yeah. Takes a bit of getting used to with the roller, but it's said come out all right. I'll give you a little look. Such a better colour. It's nice just to see the van in one colour, isn't it? So I reckon we're going to need two free coats. We've got to replace that wing as well yet. Yeah. Um, six litres I reckon, I reckon another three. We've done quite well to be fair. But then the next coat, where the foam roller keeps splitting, there's keeps being little bits left in the paint. So I think we're going to scotch pad this again, just to get them little bits off. And then carry on. We was just spraying up the bumpers. Hello. Willow's happy so to see me. Like. Hello, Gil. Are you happy to see me? Uh, last little few touches. Still got to wait for the wind to come. It was meant to come today, but it didn't. So we've got to get that on tomorrow. Dude, they look well good. since we actually painted the van we're currently in Cornwall so we know that she has stood the test of time and it's not all peeling off for the paint we used a military vehicle paint which can be rolled on and don't have to prime the van before you paint it good for us because it meant it was a lot cheaper wasn't it so yeah if you'd had to buy all the primer and do that it would have took twice as long yeah it used about six to seven liters and we've done a three to one ratio, but you have to make sure that you get the right thinners because otherwise it won't stick properly. You might use less or more thinners depending what time of year you're doing it, if it dries too quick. Painted ours in April, so we had a bit of like pretty mild weather, didn't we? Yeah, it, well, it was quite hot to be fair, I think we done it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, which was a bit of a nightmare because it was drying really quick. Yeah. Three coats on the, the Oh, we've done three sides. coats on the sides and then two coats on the roof. You ain't gonna see the roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but three coats was perfect. It's a thing, you can always add another coat, all you've got to do is scotch pad it back and then add another coat on. Yeah. So if you ever damage it or scratch it, you can just paint over it. Exactly. <laughs> to prep the van, we used a 120 grit sandpaper, just literally done the whole lot, just to take the shine off of the van. So you probably see that in some of the footage what we've done. So for the rollers, we use we orange use. foam rollers and just some plastic paint trays to go with that. Make sure that you buy a couple of packs of the um, foam rollers because they do tend to yeah. rip and leave little um, fluffy bits in your paintwork. So as soon as you can see one ripping, just make sure you change over the roller. I think we got through a pack of 10. So you just get more than that, so I'd make say. Make sure you buy a good quality one, because the ones we bought, they were off Amazon, but they were okay. Some people use the two fussy blokes ones, don't they? But yeah. they're quite expensive for like a small pack. But yeah. I've done the job. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. Yeah. So. And also before we started painting, we also uh, used panel wipe to clean the whole van down to get all the grease off. We bought a litre tin, I think, and we probably got through about half of it, maybe. Yeah, if, if that, maybe a quarter, I yeah. think. We were lucky enough to have Bill's mum and dad's drive to work on, um, but we was parked in the road, so we bought a big plastic um, painting sheet, which we got from Amazon. That was really yeah, handy. And still spill it all <laughs> over the drive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that was definitely worth having. We also used some masking tape to mask up all the handles and uh, trims that we didn't want to paint, like the window sills, for example. Plastic coat for the bumpers, so we just rubbed them down and put like a bumper spray on them. So we used probably two cans of that all in all, I reckon. 
If you're thinking about roller painting your van yourself, definitely go for it. Just make sure that you have lots of plastic sheets and lots of foam yeah. rollers. <laughs> Hope you found this video helpful if you want to paint your van yourself. We've never really done anything like this before and it turned out a lot better than we'd hoped. All we've got to do is just go around all the door seals and paint those because we've left those because we was in a bit of a rush. But she looks so much better than she did and we are so happy with her. Yes, very happy with the job. Even that was a pain in the ass. Yeah, it took... We got it done in the Overall, end. I think it took just over a week. Yeah, but we had a lot of prep to do. So usually it probably wouldn't take you that long. It'd probably take... All in all, painting three days, I reckon. Yeah, three yeah. days. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like and we'll see you on the next one.